Hi, I am Amit Lunkar. In this video, we discuss about the therapeutic uses of beta blockers. Beta blockers are nothing but the adenoceptor blocking agent. That is, it is also called sympatholytics. These beta blockers specially act on a beta adenoceptor. In this video, we discuss the therapeutic uses of these beta blockers. Let's begin with the introduction of these beta blockers. All beta adenoceptor blocking agents, that is beta blockers, are synthetic compounds and competitively inhibit the action of adrenergic agonists on beta receptors. Examples are propranolol, pindolol, tamolol, sotalol, which are a non-selective beta blockers. Non-selective beta blocker means which can be act on different types of beta receptors like beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3. That's why it is called non-selective beta blockers. Whereas atenolol, ismolol, metaprolol, acetabutalol, which are a beta 1 selective blockers. That is which specially act only one type of beta receptor that is beta 1. That is, it has a selectivity towards beta-1 adenoceptor. Whereas, labetalol and carvidiol, which are a beta blocker with alpha receptor antagonistic action. So, which acts on beta adenoceptor as well as alpha-1 adenoceptor. Now, here we discuss the therapeutic uses of beta blockers. We divide the therapeutic uses of these beta blockers into two which can be used as a cardiac and non-cardiac action. First therapeutic use under cardiac action is it can be used in hypertension. All beta blockers which can be used as a effective antihypertensive agent. Propranolol is useful in the treatment of all degrees of hypertension. This propranolol can also be given along with diuretic to treat hypertension. So, it beta blockers can be used as an antihypertensive agent. It can be also used in angina pectoris. Propranolol or nadolol may be used for the long-term management of patients with angina pectoris. Next one is, it can be used in myocardial infarction. Propranolol and tamolol are used clinically for the patients in myocardial infarctions. And next one is, Beta blockers can be used to treat cardiac arrhythmias. Uh, the most of the beta blockers like propranolol can be used in patients of supraventricular arrhythmias, tachyarrhythmias effectively. So all these are the therapeutic uses of beta blockers specially rela uh, related to cardiac. Like used in hypertension, used in angina pectoris, in myocardial infarction and in cardiac arrhythmias. Whereas non-cardiac therapeutic uses are, it can be used in pheochromocytoma. Pheochromocytoma is a small vascular tumor of the adrenal medulla causing irregular secretion of adrenaline and noradrenaline leading to attacks of blood pressure, palpitation and headache. So to treat all these, it can be used in pheochromocytoma. Next one is, it can be used in migraine. Propranol is used for the prophylaxis of migraine headache. Next one is, it can be used to treat hyperthyroidism. The propranol which can be used to treat hyperthyroidism by reducing the peripheral conversion of 
thyroxine that is T4 to triiodothyroxine that is T3 and therefore because of this it can be used to treat hyperthyroidism. Next one is beta blockers can be used to treat Parkinson's disease and also in essential tremors. Propranol combined with leodopa which can be produce a beneficial effects in Parkinson's disease as well as the beta blockers also diminish essential tremors which primarily involves the upper extremities. So all the beta blockers can be effectively used to use in Parkinson's disease and to treat essential tremor. Next one is it can be used in glaucoma. Glaucoma is nothing but there is an increase in intraocular pressure. So the beta blockers which lowers the intraocular hypertension by decreasing the production of aqueous humors and because of this it can be used in glaucoma. Uh, examples of beta blockers like Tamolol which are the best topical ophthalmic preparation which are available to treat glaucoma. In open angle glaucoma this Tamolol can also be used. Next one is it can be used in anxiety. Propranol and other beta blockers which can be suppress the objective signs of anxiety like diarrhea, palpitation, tachycardia and tremor. So it can be effectively used to treat these signs observed in anxiety. Uh, along with all these, propranol also be uh, used in conditions like recurrent gastrointestinal bleeding in cirrhotic patients, in schizophrenia, tardive dyskinesia and acute panic symptoms also. So all these are the different therapeutic uses of beta blockers. Hope all of you getting this. Thank you and happy learning.